Less than one week after landing on Mars, Perseverance rover is busy making new discoveries, but it turns out the technology on board may provide help with helping us learn about more than just the red planet. Western Mass News meteorologist Lena Jakowski spoke with a Massachusetts physicist who worked on the rover's SuperCam technology about how a beam of light might be able to help detect early stages of disease. Nordeen Medekshish is the dean of the Kennedy College of Sciences at UMass Lowell. He first became involved with the laser component on the Mars rovers during the Curiosity project. He then worked with a team of collaborators on upgrades for Perseverance. There are seven instruments in Perseverance. This is one of them. So each instrument provides a picture of, of what's happening on Mars. And the laser component of it gives you the elemental composition. So it tells you essentially, do you have sodium? Do you have potassium? Do you have calcium? Do you have titanium? Do you have iron in a rock? And that varies from place to place. In space, the laser is busy determining the composition of rocks on Mars and working in tandem with the other instruments to search for sources of water and signs of life. But back on Earth, it may be used to save lives in the future. I do use the same technique, i.e. this laser technique that is based on ablation, to try to look for early signatures of cancers and early signatures of diseases. This offers a minimally invasive, rapid alternative to surgical biopsies and can provide quick results to determine if further testing needs to be done. You take maybe a drop of blood and understand at the atomic level, at the elemental level, uh, what is in the blood, but not just one element or two. Essentially, you're looking at the entire periodic table. And then we use AI, um, machine learning, essentially, to try to look at what, what, what does healthy look like. And then we look also when they're sick and try to learn from there what's happening. We, we hope that that will be giving us signatures, early signatures, that something is, go is, is not right. Medik Shish tells Western Mass News that he hopes to soon apply this to Alzheimer's studies and to eventually start searching for signatures that may be visible in COVID blood and saliva. In studio for Western Mass News, I'm meteorologist Lena Jakowski.